Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, I'm uh, lurking outside of Krispy Kremes with Fatty. So I've sort of been talking for a while about um, changes and things happening with with this guy. Um, I did record a fairly involved video, um, took it up to work with me to edit and put up in a timely fashion. I failed. Uh, it was crap. I don't think it was worth up too much of this talking so I'm going to talk a bit I've had a couple of goes at making this video. I was out last night with um, a bunch of the guys and the cars. Charlie Dixon from uh, Driving with Dixon. I think he plays AFL or something. He's, yeah, everyone seems to know who he is. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Um, and Mark from Iron Empire. And the other Mark from Hoon TV. And um, Paul from Street Machine. And Jason from Tough Mounts. And just dropped all these names, sorry, I just the gloves up. Aaron from 3R Technic, a whole bunch of people caught up. Um, Charlie and Mark from Iron Empire organized a bit of a gathering um, down at Port Adelaide and a bit of a cruise. So we got the car out for that. On the way home, I stopped somewhere that was somewhere other than my carport or my garage and tried again. And the uh, quality of the actual, um, the visual quality was that didn't work so I'm gonna try again so I've been uh, talking for a while about changes with this um, the plans the future plans where it's going and uh, some, something's coming up with it so I'm going to um, talk about that I may have talked it up a little bit too much maybe or made it sound like it was a big thing it, it is to me but um in the overall scheme of things it's, it's not really but um i've had a few people ask me what's happening with the engine what engine i'm putting in it that's a much much later plan as long as this one stays together uh that's staying in there for the foreseeable future i've owned this for 14 years 15 years this year it's had one or more turbos for the last 10 years I'd go with 10 years um, and the intention was always to have this thing engineered after I started doing um, suspension modifications that sort of thing uh, in South Australia 
a pre-January 1974 car, you can turbocharge it or supercharge it without having to get it engineered as long as the engine is relatively stock. Relatively stock. Um, yeah, you don't have to get it engineered, but as soon as you start putting four links, doing notches and in the major modifications, engineers are involved. And like I said, I've always intended on doing that, but um, sort of drag challenge comes around and I put it off and uh, or I break something and I put it off and um, it's just sort of been pushed pushed to the wayside and I've just kind of been running the gauntlet so to speak with uh, driving the thing around the place but unfortunately my time has come I have uh, received what is known in SA amongst a bunch of us as the letter so that means the uh, my friends down at the Department of um, Department of Infrastructure and Transport, I think it is. That's the proper term for it. Depart There's a government department that looks after modified vehicles and vehicle inspections. Uh, they keep an eye on things like this on social media, magazines, big events. They know what's going on around the place, and um, uh, every now and then they send out letters to owners of cars that clearly are modified and should be uh, engineered. That's me. So yeah, my time's come. I've got one. And what that letter basically says is we know your car's modified. Oh. And it's not engineered your registration once that expires you can no longer register it until you've come to us with engineering paperwork so while i've always intended to do it it's always been the plan these guys have just kicked my ass into getting it done so um it's it's not a massive um i'm not upset about it i kind of was when i first got the letter but eh, it's got to be done and uh it's the rules it's the rules we play by or we're supposed to play by. So that's what's happening with this. I've already started the process. I'm using who most guys with cars like mine in Adelaide use. Um, the engineer's name's Sots. He's from Speed Garage MVE, which is Modified Vehicle Engineers. Uh, he knows the car well. He's seen it before it, um, when it's been parked up at Adelaide Motorsport Fabrications. Um, I've popped in to see him, I've spoken to him about the car, but um, this, because I've recorded this video before and I'm now having another go, the timeline's a little bit out, sorry, but um, so I booked it in with SOT, um, he's, I took the car down to him for an afternoon, we put up on his hoist, he went over the whole car with me and we, went, we discussed what the car can have, what it can't have, what needs changing. And um, so I'll skip to that and we'll have a look at that and then come back. So we're down here at um, SOTS Workshop, Speed Garage, MVE, Modified Vehicle Engineering. We've gone over the... Um, car on the hoist, we've been over it, had a big walk around, uh, Sot's had a good look over it, uh, fairly happy with what he's seen, got a big list of things that need um, uh, tidying up on it, a few loose ends, that sort of thing, the jobs I've started but not quite finished or just patched up for racing, um, but structurally it's good, um, there's no ridiculous modifications, um, I'll go into it further as, as I go through it, but so that's the initial consultation done. Um, he's now got a list, we've gone through it together, he's going to type that up and email all that to me, what I require, and he's going to send the same thing to, um, well the uh, application for modification to Vehicle Standards, South Australian Vehicle Standards, what we call Regency here, because it's at Regency Park, and then they'll send me back a list. But, um, 
I'll leave that one here. For the um, next one will be, hopefully I'll have all the paperwork back and um, I'll go through it. Most of it, what I need to do. Um, have a bit of a walk around the car, go over a few things. But um, at the moment, happy days so far. Uh, nothing ridiculous. And um, I think uh, I think this should be fairly straightforward. We should have this thing back back out cruising in no time. Pending work and being stuck in to state and that sort of rubbish. But uh, yeah, so stops on Facebook is business page. This will be backwards, but it's uh, speed speed garage modified vehicle engineering. If you just search for MVE speed on um, Facebook, he'll come up. You can see some of the stuff that he's uh, he's worked on and got through, and um, give him a follow, give him a like, say hello. I'll um, get this off the hoist and get it home and uh, start looking at some stuff. That's what's happening with the car. It's getting engineered now. Um, for me, that's a really big thing. I've been wanting to do it for a long, long time, and um, it needs it. And clearly, this car is um, reasonably modified. So what I'm planning on doing is um, documenting the proceed uh, that the process working. Uh, so um, as I've done with the F100 over there, I did with the front end and the rails. Um, it's not an instructional video uh, or a how-to. It's um, it's more of a someone that's about to do this process or thinking about doing this with a car can see what's actually involved this is of course in South Australia but the process the engineering process is um, fairly standard countrywide I, I assume um, of course double check with your local people um, your local authorities and engineers and everything when you go to do yours but um, this does require tests like a torsional rigidity test is which when they um, which is when they uh, will sort will lift the car up put it on stands chain it to the ground and they'll do a little bit of twisting in the car and measure how much it actually flexes um, high horsepower cars I've got to do that to make sure it's actually safe for driving uh, it'll be getting a lane ch I'll have to do a lane change test so it'll go out to a track go through the cones make sure the car actually drives how it's supposed to drive and a brake fade test so again driving at cones at speed hitting the brakes making sure uh, and doing that over and over again to make sure the brakes hold up to it so during the uh, consultation with SOP and I had the car at his workshop I asked if it was cool with me um, documenting all this and discussing what's going on what's required that sort of thing and he was fine with it um, He's have to be involved with that sort of thing, but I'm not. Um, I won't be getting him on camera talking to you guys. That's not what he's about. Um, anyone that's met Sot or knows Sot, or even just messaged us, uh, Sot asking questions. Um, top guy, very very helpful, very friendly. Really knows his stuff. So um, if you're looking at doing like building a car, or you've got a car that's built that you need engineered. I think pretty much everyone in Adelaide car scene knows who Sod is and what he does, but um, on a personal level, very, very helpful, very friendly, very knowledgeable. Uh, can't recommend him enough. So um, I'll put up uh, business name again. You would have seen it in the bit where I was at his workshop. But um, hit him up for all the all sort of engineering requirements. Um, he does all light vehicle work, so that's four wheel drive stuff as well. Um, I'm not sure how far he goes vehicle size but um, any modifications on any light vehicle he's, he's the guy to talk to so. but yeah so that's what's happening with the car it's um, engineering getting this thing back uh, where it's supposed to be legally so I can cruise hassle free again kind of bad have all the actual legitimate paperwork that says uh, I can do that. So, so it's going to take me a little while with work and I'm also trying to smash out, you can see that thing I've 
it's now got airbags sitting in the back of it so but um that's the next video the back end of that but for this thing it's not going to be out and about for a while i'm going to try and get it done as quickly as i can there is a bit that needs to be done um nothing major just time consuming little lots of little jobs so um but i've got my list i'm gonna i've got a whiteboard i'm gonna go buy a bigger one because it's a reasonable list of jobs i have to do um put that up on the wall and the next lot of videos for this will be me uh going through most like all the work i'm doing um to get this thing sorted like i've got to do a bit of work in the back end of the car suspension wise so i'll do a video on that so on and so forth but, um, that'll keep me busy for a little while and that fella over there so yeah thanks for hanging around thanks for watching thanks for subscribing everyone that has done so far um hugely appreciate it and uh i will catch you guys on the next one cheers